Hey there and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up Coolify in a more advanced way. Now this video is a little bit off topic since it's not covering anything related to payload specifically, but there has been a lot of interest in the community for Coolify in general because it's just a great way to host, you know, Next.js apps, payload, but also databases like MongoDB or Superbase on your own infrastructure. Now, today we are going to talk about stage two of three. There are sort of three ways how you can set up Coolify. In the last video, we talked about the most basic form. So you have one VPS, you have one server that you know, Coolify runs on and you add all the projects that you want to run on the server in one instance. Now today we are taking things to the next level. We are deploying one VPS for Coolify and then we can actually add multiple separate servers where we can put our projects and manage them all from one single instance that you know Coolify runs on. There's also a third stage where you have the same structure but you also have a load balancer um, in front of those services and you don't only have you know, multiple projects and multiple servers, but you can have multiple deploys of one project on separate servers so that you have fallback and redundancy and you have a load balancer uh, in front of those that balances the load and allows for uh, horizontal scaling. But let's focus on stage two now and get started. First off, I'm going to create two servers. Now we love to use Hetzner for hosting them because it's just a bang for the buck and these servers are great. They are also a German company, which makes it very easy for us um, to be compliant with GDPR regulations, etc. If you want to use Hetzner as well, there will be a link in the description down below where you can sign up for it. Now let's just go ahead and add a server. I'm going to choose Nuremberg for the location. Ubuntu is fine and for the CPU type, we're going to take a shared CPU. Obviously, if you need more performance, take a dedicated one, but the shared ones are great. I'm going to choose the RM architecture and I'm going to choose the CAX21. This is not the cheapest one. The cheapest one is less than four euros, which is super cheap. You still get four gigabytes of RAM, a 40 gigabyte SSD and two virtual CPUs. I'm just going to choose that one because it has a bit more power, but you can scale them afterwards however you want. Now I'm going to leave this as it is. Pretty much we don't need a firewall for now. We don't need backups. You can enable backups for the server if you want. And I'm just going to click on, yeah, I'm going to call it Coolify because this is where our Coolify instance will run on. And I'm just going to click on create and buy now. This will take a minute or so to create the server and boot it. In the meantime, I'm going to create our second server, which I'm giving the exact same configuration. So CAX21. And I'm going to name it projects one. You can have multiple of those. So I'm going to create this as well. And let's wait for a second until they are ready to go. When the server has successfully been created, you're going to receive an email from Hetzner that contains the IP address and your login credentials for the server. I'm going to open up my terminal and I'm going to SSH into the server now. So I'm copying the IP address. I'm going to say SSH root at and then paste the IP address. I seem to have copied some white spaces. All right, I need to add the fingerprint and enter the password. So now we have to set a new password immediately going to paste in the old password, set a new one, make sure to use a very secure and long password string because this is just the root access to your server. And now we're in. The next step is to go to Coolify, 
Microsoft.io and click on self-hosted and this will give you the installation script which I'm just going to copy and paste in here and that should pretty much set up Coolify within a few minutes and when the installation script has finished we can already visit our Coolify instance by just calling the public IP address and port 8000. So here we are prompted to create an account. I'm going to give it an email as well. I'm just going to choose our own one, set another password. Click on register and now it welcomes me here. I'm. You can click on get started. Um, this will give you some more context about the software. I'm just going to skip the onboarding for now. And the first thing that I'm going to do is actually set up a domain here because currently our connection is not secure. In order to do this, I need to access the IP address and copy it because I need to create a DNS entry. So in this case, I'm going to choose the all about payload domain and I'm going to create a new record, say a record, coolify, which means coolify.allaboutpayload.com. I'm going to paste in the IP address for my server. When this has been saved successfully, I'm going back to my coolify instance. I'm going to settings and under instances domain, I'm going to say https coolify.allaboutpayload.com and click on save. Now this currently says validating DNS failed because Coolify automatically tries to validate the DNS entries and create an SSR certificate. Now DNS entries take some time to propagate. It might take a couple minutes usually, it might take up to a few hours. So I'm just going to wait for a bit and then save again and then it should successfully initialize the domain. Now, today this took quite a couple minutes. Like I said, might be fast, might be slower. And now if we go to our domain, qualify.allaboutpayload.com, we should see our instance. However, we are getting a DNS error. Now, usually this is certificate authority invalid or something. Um, now in this case, it's common name invalid. This will take a bit of time to resolve. Just be patient, wait for five or 10 or 20 minutes. Sometimes it even takes an hour or so, um, but it will eventually go away. In our case, we are just going to go back and I'm going to do the rest of the setup just through the IP address and non-encrypted traffic. However, I do recommend you for security reasons to wait until everything is set up because then your traffic will be SSL encrypted. Let's continue by adding our second VPS into Coolify to manage it. To do this, I first have to add to keys and tokens and under private keys, I'm going to click on add and I'm going to click on generate new RSA SSH key. Now this automatically generates a name for better readability, I'm going to say um, projects one, so that I know that this is for the projects one server. And this is the private key, and this is the public key. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the public key into our projects one server, and that will enable Coolify to basically SSH into the server and control it. So that way through Coolify, we can basically say, okay, please deploy this project. And what Coolify will do for us is SSH into the specific server that we, we chose, and it will spin up a Docker container and basically boot the project. So to do this, I'm going to copy the public key. Oops, this just disappeared. Okay, I'm going to select the public key. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to just paste it somewhere so that I can access it, access it later. And I'm going to click on continue. And this is now our created private key. So let's now SSH into our projects one. 
VPS. I'm going to copy the IP address. I'm going to exit our old server. I'm going to again say SSH root at this IP address. Again, it copied this white space. I'm going to accept the fingerprint and I'm going to add our password in here to log in. Again, I need to change the password. So I'm going to set a new one. And now we're into our projects one folder. Now, as we just got instructed by Coolify, if we want to add a private key, we have to copy the public key to our servers here, this file. So what I'm going to say in our terminal, I'm going to say nano. You can choose other editors like Wim or something. Nano and then the authorized keys file. And in here, the only thing that I'm going to do is take our key and paste it. And now I'm going to exit by hitting Control X. Yes, write it to the file. And that should be all that we have to actually set up in our server to be remote controlled by Coolify. Now to validate our settings, let's go back to Coolify. And under servers, click on add. We're giving it the name projects one. Now we have to add our IP address. I'm just going to copy this from here. Going to paste it in. Part 22 is all right, root user. And for the private key, we now have to select our projects one key that we just created. There's an option here that we can use it as a build server, which will basically, you know, use it to build all other projects uh, and just deploy it on those other servers. We are not going to do that for now. And we don't need anything swarm related. So I'm going to click continue. And now we just have to click on validate and install Docker engine. This might take a little bit, but as you can see, the server is reachable. The OS type is supported. And now it's basically going ahead and installing Docker for us on the projects one server. And as soon as that is done, let's go back in here and check if our proxy is running. So the proxy seems running and therefore our server seems to be working fine. Let's just quickly test it by spinning up a, a demo project. So I'm going to create a project, name it test production, and I'm going to add a new resource. For now, I'm just going to add a MongoDB database, for example. So now for the server, instead of using the local host, as we did in the old video, we're going to choose the projects one server. So I'm going to click on this. And now we can basically just click on start and install MongoDB there. Now, as I said, what it is doing, it's basically SSHing into our other projects one server, and it's just installing everything there for us and spinning it up. As you can see, the database has started successfully. Everything seems to be running. I'm not going to test this any further, but in an upcoming video, we're actually going to deploy a payload project in combination with a MongoDB database on Coolify. So you can actually just host payload and MongoDB together on Coolify, which brings quite some interesting advantages. But for today's video, that will be it. If you do have any questions, please feel free to let us know in the comments below. And apart from that, take care and see you in the next video.